All right, what's happening, my mathletes? That's right, Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and take an equation, copy the equation, and then make a table of values all using Desmos. So let's go ahead and have our no cheat out. This is going to be from one of the examples we did in class uh, when, we were when we were taking a look at rational functions. So you'll have this rational function in Desmos, x squared minus 5x plus 6, all that over 4x squared minus 16. So that will be the function. So if you need to pause the video to go ahead and put that in there, go ahead and pause that, get that input, and then come on back. Now, what you're gonna do is take your cursor, you're gonna take your cursor, and you're gonna put it right in here into the line that has that equation in it. Up here, you're gonna click on this little edit list, the gear icon, and select that. From there, you're gonna notice three icons next to our function x squared minus five x plus six, that quantity over four x squared minus 16. You're gonna duplicate that by hitting the duplicate icon. From there, you're gonna take that and change it into a table. So you're gonna convert it to table, boom, there you go. Now in our particular example, we were going from negative four to positive four in our table of values. So to work with that, because by default, the table will start from negative two, go to positive two in this case. So I just wanna arrow over and then change that negative two to a negative four. When I hit enter, then I'm gonna have a space and you'll type in negative three and then hit enter again and then negative two. Now I have negative one, zero, one, two. So I need to just add three and four to the bottom of that. And in this case, I can just hit enter and it'll automatically number that for me. Boom, thank you, Desmos. So you wanna make sure you get all of those pieces in there. And that's how you take a function, copy it, and then make a table of values that you can use to analyze the function. All right, and you'll notice, so if you go over to the graph, on the graph, all the values from negative four to four that are defined, you will see them show up as these gray, as these blue dots right here on our function. So there's one of them at negative four, there's negative three, and they give you the X and Y coordinates for each one of those, which is really cool and it matches with our table of values. So that's how you take a function and copy it, you duplicate it, and then change that function to a table of values using Desmos. All right, thanks for watching. You guys made a great day and I'll catch you later. Peace out, Cub Scout.